Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be an unboxing palooza, kind of like I did last month where I split my Ipsy glam bag unbagging, boxing unbagging, and my Play by Sephora unboxing upload on the same day. Same thing happening now. So this will be my Ipsy unbagging. And then you can click either a card up here or wait till the annotation at the end to click through and watch my Play by Sephora unboxing. But basically I'm running out of the month of December to get these videos up and out there because I tend to receive my subscriptions a little bit later in the month for some reason not sure why but wanted to get these out there for you guys so we're doing another unboxing palooza so if you are new to the channel the way I like to do these is not only show you what came or comes inside each month but also give you a review basically as well as a demo so you'll see lots of good stuff in this video because we got a lot of ground to cover let's go ahead and get into the ipsy bag so first thing is actually a product that not everyone got if you've I think it's if you've been a subscriber the whole time and I have been with them since bag one you might even be able to see the video that I posted because I, I got it when I first kind of right when I first started making videos um, but anyway it is a product from Michelle Fawn's makeup line M which I am very familiar with when it first came out I was all about giving it a try really liked the eyeshadow palettes and so this is actually a full-sized shade play artistic eyeshadow palette and I think people got different palettes because I was watching Andrea here her um, I think she does Birchbox and Ipsy in one video was watching her video and she got a different palette than mine so yours might not be the same if you got one mine is the Sahara nudes it is a completely matte palette which a lot with lots of crucial neutrals it's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now so you'll see a demo of this as I apply like I said I when these first came out huge fan of these eyeshadow formulas and then her brand kind of went under the radar I've just been kind of quiet and now they're starting back up again but a great quality eyeshadow palette, but one thing I will say, and I've never had this issue with any of the other palettes, is that um, the, you can see it's kind of a plasticky clear case on the outside with like a white inner case that everything's housed in, and my white case has become separated from my plastic case. I've never had that happen, but this is exactly how it was straight out of the box. So unusual, but something I wanted to note because typically the packaging is pretty good on these and very sturdy. Um, but just not the case with this. But anyway, it, there are six eyeshadows in here, and I really like the way that she varies up the size of the pans, kind of based on how much you use the eyeshadow shade, at least in my mind, that's what it is. I know that I am never gonna use up a full pan of black because I tend to always use it either as a liner or as like that very outer corner shade, whereas this mid mid-tone camel is like crease zone. It's a great all over shadow, it's just like, I, there is not enough of this product I can get my brush before I put it on my eye. So I do like that that's the biggest pan. Just in general, these seem like really well thought out palettes. So that is the first item. Moving on to the rest of the bag though, adorable bag this month. Let's go ahead and get into more eyeshadow. Actually, no, let's start with the primer. There was a primer. This is from Elizabeth Mott and this is the uh, Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. It is a tester size here. And a full size of this is actually only two times the size. There are five grams in this and I just checked on the website. It says the full size is 10 grams and it retails for $20. So this is a $10 sample worth $10. Um, a good amount considering how much you actually put on your eyes. It has kind of a pink tint to it. You'll be able to see here in the demo. So I do think it has a little bit, it's, it's semi-opaque. So it does cancel out some uneven pigmentation you might have on your lids if you have very thin eyelids and tend to have kind of smaller capillaries and veins that show through like mine do. I did find it help a little bit of cancellation. And then of course, as an eyeshadow primer, it does help extend and amplify the life of my eyeshadow. But I don't notice it stays tacky a whole lot. So if you're looking for this to kind of grip onto your eyeshadow and then dry down so it's ultra long lasting, this really does dry down to more of a powder finish very quickly, but it does act as that nice clean base for your eyeshadow. I didn't notice it affecting negatively affecting the wear time anyway. It, it extended the life just as long as any other eyeshadow primer did. And this month you get 30% off with what it, the code that they give you. I'll put all codes as usual in the info bar below because Ipsy is pretty awesome at giving you codes for nearly every brand that they feature in their bag. So be sure and look down below if you're interested in any of the products that I talk about here. Next up is another eyeshadow trio. This is from the brand Peony, a brand that I've never heard of or tried clearly. And this is an eyeshadow trio. It doesn't specify um, if it's a certain arrangement of colors as if they have multiple arrangements. So um, I'm, this might be the only one they have. 
but here's the trio and this is full size. I just went on their website to see how much it retailed for, like what the situation is, if this is a sampling. Sometimes Coastal Scents you'll get like a little quad that you can find in larger palettes. This is it. This guy retails for $17.50, almost 18 bucks. So you do get a 20% discount this month through Ipsy, but in general, this is a pricey little trio. And it does say that it's um, botanical nutritious color. So I'm sure a lot of that gets funneled through the ingredients, but you do not get a lot of product in this trio. However, onto the quality, they are pretty good quality, especially um, it's not consistent across all of them. I will say that when I first dip my finger or brush actually into this golden shade, it's this beautiful cream with a strong gold reflect, but on a brush, it it's kind of flaky. It's not quite as pigmented as it might appear in the swatch. The other two shades, however, this beautiful shimmery chocolatey brown and this amazing metallic copper, very, very easy to apply, ultra pigmented. That's almost a cream to powder formula and it's just, it glides on so smoothly and super easy to build up for pigmentation as I think you'll be able to see here in the demo. So I am really excited that I got to try a product and brand that is totally new to me and was actually really pleased with the quality. I'm interested in trying more and will absolutely use that code if I do because it's certainly not an inexpensive brand so might have to give that a go I'd love to hear if you guys have tried any other products from this brand let me know in the comments below what you love what you don't love just let me know next up is some skincare this is from the brand Acure which is actually a play on two words a cure because right below it, it says a cure for your skin and for the planet um, I've never tried anything from this brand which is why I thought it was interesting to point that out and it's a cell stimulating facial mask you get one fluid ounce here and I just checked on the website and it looks like um, I had to zoom into the picture because it's not actually noted anywhere by the product and the product information it looks like a full size is 1.75 so almost two ounces in a full size meaning this is quite a hefty sample compared to what a full size is, which retails the full size for $12.99. So it's a very affordable mask. And basically it's a clay mask, a green clay mask actually. On the back it says apply evenly until you look like a green sea monster. Very true. So I applied it all over. It's a clay mask. So it draws out those impurities. And then it has kind of a minty um, aromatic sort of scent. And I think that whatever mint it might contain is the cell stimulating aspect of this which some people might want to be aware of if you have super sensitive skin especially here in the winter we might have sensitized skin that might be a little irritating it did not personally irritate me i found it really refreshing and especially for my combo skin i always look to clay masks because i'm constantly looking for like poor purging good cell stimulating stuff like that but just a heads up if you are interested in something or this sounds good to you careful if you have sensitive skin. On to the next product, which is a lip and hand polish, a great physical exfoliator that uses sugar and also contains uh, vitamin E and jojoba oil. So it's this kind of sugar oil mixture supposed to exfoliate your hands. And then once you wipe that off or rinse it off, if you want to, it leaves your hands feeling nice and soft or lips feeling nice and soft and smooth. It comes in this tube. The sample comes in this tube. However, when you look on the site, it comes in a tub, which I think I would prefer because my one, my main gripe with this is that um, you really have to kind of shake this up because the oil and sugar really want to separate. So the first time, first few times I tried it actually, I just got a bunch of oil on my hands, like the medium that the sugar is in and not a whole lot of sugar. So that can make for a really messy lip scrub. Works great on the hands pretty much no matter how you swing it, but especially on the lips, this sort of packaging is a little bit more challenging. However, smells and taste. I'm going to be really honest. It tastes super good. I don't want to wipe it off. I would much rather just eat the sugar, but um, it's, it says vanilla bean here, but it has kind of like a cinnamon something about it. Oh, it's, it's so good. Would really recommend it, especially if you, if you tend to like physical exfoliants, they are larger granules. So if you like sort of smaller, um, pumice or, um, you know, something to that effect, that's not this. They are pretty large, coarsely ground sugar granules. So it can get a little bit on the messy side, but uh, it's, it's effective. It really does exfoliate and nourish and it tastes amazing and they are offering a 50% discount so a full size in the tub retails for 25 on their site so you can get half off this month with, with Ipsy's code. Last up is a lip product actually the lip product that I'm wearing right now from the brand Pacifica and it is the Power of Love Powerful Color Natural Lipstick and mine is in the shade Nudie Red. I feel like they could have just said pink because that's that's really, or like beigey pink because that's kind of what it is but it's a full size retails for $10 and 
Um, I'm really liking the consistency. It is kind of a drier formula despite being moisturizing. Like, it doesn't dry my lips out. I definitely notice it taking a little, like a couple of passes across my lips to start warming up and not tugging at them. It's not naturally a very creamy formula. It takes a little bit of warming up to your lips so it really glides on smoothly. But besides that, once it's on, I think that kind of attribute of the formula helps it last a really long time because balmier, you know, products with a balmier finish do tend to wear off pretty quickly on my lips and this has relatively good lasting power. Given that it's not a stain or a liquid lipstick, I find it lasts two to three hours with very light drinking, not a whole lot of snacking, but it's a nice slim little tube you can just throw in your purse and the color, I mean, this is gonna be the same for every color obviously, but this color in particular is just a great kind of mindlessly throw on your lips sort of thing when you just want something to create your look and it's definitely a color that I think will flatter most looks which is nice and they are offering a 20% discount in this month's bag as well so that is it for everything that came in my December Ipsy glam bag I'd love to hear what you got in yours what you thinking of everything you got be sure and check out my play by Sephora unboxing video as well either click by clicking the eye up here again or by clicking on the annotation that's about to roll here or may already be rolling at the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!